Hi, my name is Christopher Doe, and I'm an electrical engineering student at uh, California State University, Northridge. And uh, I'm about to uh, show you a simpler, quicker way to solve eigenvalues and vectors using MATLAB. Uh, let's first start out as uh, doing it the handwritten form. So first off, we start with a vector A. So as you see, my vector A is 5, 4, 1, 2. And then uh, we use the uh, equation a minus lambda i equals 0. And then we plug it into our equation, into our vector. So uh, we then solve it for 0. And uh, you uh, do 5 minus lambda times 2 minus lambda minus 4 times 1, as you see here. And it equals 0. And then we uh, foil this equation all together. And then we uh, get. 6 minus 7 lambda plus lambda squared equals 0 and then we solve for its 0 values and uh, as you see here uh, lambda equals 6 and 1 from there we uh, plug in our lambdas into our equation, our vector equation so uh, as you see here we're solving for lambda equals to 6 and uh, 5 minus 6 which was the 6 was the lambda so we're plugging in 6 into lambda and uh, as you, once we get to the equation, we uh, find an x1 and x2 value that would equal to zero. So these are our uh, is our eigenvectors, as you see. So what I did was I chose four and one for the lambda equals six, and then continuing on to the uh, lambda equals to one, I solved the equation. And for the uh, x2 condition we we found that lambda x1 and x2 was 1 and negative 1 that seems kind of a uh, tedious so uh, we luckily we have MATLAB to us uh, let us solve these equations much quicker and uh, I shall show you right here and uh, now here we will solve it using MATLAB uh, let's uh, go straight on to it so let's see we start with our matrix A and we will continue to use the same one just to verify our answers. So, f and as you see here, that's our matrix A. Um, and then we shall uh, find its eigenvalues. So, to find that, we type eig equals eig of matrix A and as you see we get 6 and 1 just like our equation when we did it by hand we got lambda equals 6 and 1 from here we uh, compute the characteristic equations and then uh, we uh, create a new two new matrices V and D that contain the eigenvectors and the diagonal elements of the eigen, which are the eigenvalues. So, matrix V comma D equals, and there it is, our matrix V and our matrix D, which have the diagonal complements of 6 and 1. And then we, uh, and we take our first eigenvector, v1 equals v comma semicolon comma 1 that's our first uh, vector and we normalize it and we get our solutions for our vector. So as you see how I solved it, I used 4 and 1 as my uh, complements for when lambda equals 6 and this solution gave us 1 and a quarter which is basically exactly the same ratio as 4 and 1. And uh, the same set is goes on with the, uh, the second vector and uh, we can use this method to solve 3x3 three three determinants, 4x4 four four determinants, and so on, which will uh, thus greatly improve our timing. Thank you very much. I hope you have a good day.